Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I am going to show you how to create a to-do project using ASP.NET Web API, Angular 16 and Bootstrap. Alright, so this is our empty folder. I'm going to create two folders here. One of them is going to be, let's say, to-do app.api this is our web API project and another folder is for uh, UI which is gonna be angular UI okay so I want to create um, the web API project in this location I'm using Visual Studio 2022 but you can use um, other version as well create a new project I am going to use ASP.NET Core Web API also I'm selecting that next I am providing here the location of the folder and the project name is to do app or API okay hit next so I have here .NET uh, 6.0 or 7.0 you can use either of them I'm gonna use .NET 7.0 create okay so we got here default weather forecast controller which I would like to delete it also the model okay let's build it okay um, at first I would like to add the NuGet packages so right click on the project and hit manage NuGet packages here in the browse type entity framework core and make sure package source is NuGet.org okay I'm gonna use entity framework SQL server also tools for tooling this entity framework core dot tools it will help us to add migration update database all those command okay so far so good and I would like to add couple of folders here one is gonna be data folder to create the data context and other one is models folder okay and we already have controllers folder at first I want to create the model right click on the model add a class I'm going to give the model name as to do okay and property is gonna be oops prop um, let's say guid id property um, string um, title maybe for to do title or maybe description okay and another property for date time like um, created date okay then another one is for uh, I'm gonna use a bool for it's completed okay what else um, maybe I can use completed date which is gonna be date time and it's gonna be nullable okay and the property name is completed date okay so we have the to do model then I wanna create the DB context which is gonna be under data folder right click on the data add a new class I'm gonna give the class name as to do db context 
and I'm gonna inherit it from DB context. Okay, so it is from entity framework core. Let's add the constructor which is DB to do DB context and I'm gonna pass the parameter DB context options and pass the options to the base um, construct and also adding DB set for our to do class okay oops it's gonna be to do and control dot so we can e import it from the model right and we can give it a name to do's okay now let's add the connection string in the app settings dot json file connection string and we want to give the connection string name to do db connection string okay so here we have to provide the server right in our case i'm gonna use the server localhost then database name let's say to do trusted connection equal true trusted or trust server certificate equal true that's it okay now let's go to program.cs file here I would like to um, add that DB context in the service so build your services add DB context and type is to do DB context okay and in the parameter options use SQL server okay in the SQL server we want to pass the connection string from configuration get connection string and provide the connection string name in the method which is gonna be this one okay and let's build it so far so good okay now let's create the um, controller right click on the controller add new controller I'm going I'm going to use API controller give the controller name to do so this is our controller and I need a private read-only variable for to do DB context and give the name underscore to do DB context okay and in the constructor I want to inject that to do DB context and assign it to our local variable okay so at first i would like to create the get method that will return our uh, like list of to do's okay so public async task i action result let's say method name get um get all to do's okay so it will return us all the to do's so but to do's equal 
um, await db context to do to list async then finally return ok with the to do's okay so let's run it so this is our to do method get to do's right if I try to execute I get 500 internal server error because it is trying to establish an, uh, a connection with the database so far we did not create the database right that means we need to create our database so we have the data context also the model now we need to execute some um, command in the package manager console okay the first command is gonna be add migration and give it a name maybe initial migration and you will see there is a migrations folder and it created the table definition here okay and then another command to update database done let's see if we connect here and if we open the databases we can see to database has been created and if we expand the tables there's also a table named to do's at this moment it is empty okay which makes sense because we did not insert any rows so far okay now let's run again i want to make sure api is running smoothly okay now i got 200 which is okay and response board is empty because we do not have any row in the database okay so what we can do we can add another method which is gonna be http post and that uh, post is gonna be public async task action result let's give it a name add to do and as a parameter i want to add a to do class here and give the object name it as to do so uh, we don't want to uh, pass the to do GUID from the ui side so every time we create to do we want to assign id in the ui i mean in the backend which is in the api side right so to do dot id equal the new GUID and to do db context to do's right we can add after that await save changes async then return to do right now let's run it and try to insert or try to post a to do so we got like um id here GUID ID description let's say this is our first to do right create a date is fine it's completed it's false and completed date it can be null because we assign the variable as a nullable right hit execute and we see 200 status code and this is the response we got and if we see the database execute and we see that um, this is our first to do description is there and complete date is null we can also expand the columns and see the column definition which is date time nullable okay
now let's create our ui this is here right to do app dot ui i want to open the terminal here or if you open the cmd separately and you can navigate to this folder um first of all i can check the ng version i have currently I have ng CLI which is 16.0.4 which is the latest one okay and I want to create the project which is gonna be ng new give the project name which is to do app dot UI would you like to add the angular routing yes and you can use the CSS, as CSS, SAS less, anything, but I'm gonna use CSS. It may take a couple of minutes. Um, I'm gonna pause it a little bit and I'll be back as soon as it is done. Okay, now I'm gonna cd to our to do app dot ui folder oops it's gonna be to do now code space dot yes i trust the authors because i created the project so this is our um, project I want to open a terminal let's run the ng build build succeeded now ng serve dash o okay so this is our default template right um so what we can do we can remove the default template from the app component dot html right so it's a pretty big template we have by default which i would like to remove the entire template and also I would like to keep router outlet and if we save it and you can see that this is now empty <laughs> okay and in the index.html um, I would like to add the angular not angular bootstrap CDN so from here we can copy this CDN for CSS then paste it in the head section okay then what else mm. I would like to create a neighbor search neighbor in the neighbor which I want is maybe something like this let's copy this and I want to um, show it side by side okay paste it here save it and we can see the in the UI and I'm gonna give it a name let's say to do app right okay and I want to give it like to do's or my to do's right for now I don't want anything else so to do's 
and if we expand we should see the to do's here okay first of all I would like to add the app routing this is empty now so app routing is gonna be combination of path and component right so at this moment we do not have the component and so what we need to do we need to create the component so under app folder let's create few folders one of them is components um, models and services okay now let's open another terminal here terminal new terminal okay so navigate to that component location which is source app components right so here I can use angular CLI um, command to generate the component ng g for generate c for component and the component name which is gonna be to do's okay if we expand and we can see this is our to do's component now we have the components so what I would like to add is here like to do's component here okay so whenever path is empty uh, I would like to display the to do's component also we have um, another uh, uh, path which is to do's right uh, for example localhost colon uh, 4200 then to do's right so what we can do for this we can create another route which is gonna be path is to do's and component is again to do's component right so now I would like to add the router link here so this router link is gonna be to do's okay so this is the router path here we have assigned we have declared here this is the path right as soon as it hits the this path and we are going to display the to do's component this is what it is okay so if we go to the browser and if we click on the to do's app which is the home you see the to do's works and if we click on the to do's you see the um, URL got changed still we're in the to do's component I wanna um, change a little bit in the UI which is gonna be um, in here let's say a uh, neighbor dark background dark okay we got the neighbor dark and also the background background dark and I want to use only the container so that we can display the content in the middle if you see this starts from here and ends over here mm, what else I think for now this is good okay now let's move into our to do's component okay so in the to do's what I want to do is like I want to add like a list which is gonna be a table okay so in the table um, how can I get the table let's go to the bootstrap search for table and this is the table template we have um, so we can paste it here right before that I wanna use like a container 
deep container right and then I want to use another deep for row inside the row I'm gonna use the table so oops. we save it and we can see in the UI got changed right um, maybe inside the row I can use um, h1 tag let's say add to do or maybe this is gonna be like to do's right list of to do's or we can give it like my to do's okay and I want another deep Oops. in the deep I'm gonna use um, a form control so that I can add the to do there right so I'm gonna use form so I need a text box and a button so this is gonna be the perfect for my situations right so what I need I do not need all these I only need one button and give it a name let's say description right and this is gonna be description here right then email type is text and ID is description and we do not need the help at this moment right as soon as I save I see that um, this text box has been created right this is great so what I can do here oops it was a row it's supposed to be row and maybe I can use another h1 tag here let's say add to do right so we can add the to do here what else okay so in the table we need maybe ID I think we do not need the ID here let's say description then what created date then completed right I think for now that's it uh, in a T body we need one row only this moment because we're gonna look through the list right um so so uh, before creating the list I'm gonna add a model here add new file to do dot model dot ts okay and this is gonna be export interface to do here I wanna add ID as a string and description string right is completed is gonna be boolean what else created date this is date I think that's it right uh, is completed and completed date right this is gonna be another date here right so I can put the date that is completed next to the completed date that looks better okay so now I have the to do component I mean to do model so I can create a to do's which is a list of to do at this moment that is empty 
and I need to import the to do so control dot import the package okay so now let's go to the component so I need to add ng4 let to do of to do's do not need this scope here to do dot description to do dot created date then to do dot is completed right so we see there is a description oops something wrong here okay at this moment that is empty so we need a service to um, call the api and then we can subscribe the service so that we can display the list here okay so what we need to do we need to create the service let's expand this one so i need to go to the service folder which is gonna be services then ng generate as for service and give the service name to do so it will create the to do service expand we can see to do dot service dot um ts okay so at first i need a base api url this is gonna be string and that base api url is gonna be so we need to run the api project again so that we can see so this is our api url base url okay so we need to go our angular project provide the why it is complaining can't find name string oops <laughs> typo okay so in the constructor um, I need HTTP client right CLI ENT and if we press control dot we don't see that there is no suggestion so to fix that we need to go to our app.module import HTTP client module from um, angular common http then we need to include it in the imports which is http client module right now go back to our service control dot now we can see the suggestion so we can in we can import the http client okay so far so good so we, we need a method which is get all to do's right and once we get the response we want to make it observable return so that we can um, subscribe um, from the controller and we'll return this top to do right we need to import the to do model here so return this http when i get what we would like to get to do and list of to do oops from this base e api url right and what is the api uh, method name that we can also find it here so this is the api method api slash to do 
so slash api slash to do right so that is gonna be our api url okay so now let's go to our component here and i wanna implement um that is gonna be ng on init right so that we have to have the implementation here which is ng on init okay so what do we want to do we want to call the service right so to call the service we need to in inject that through our constructor right so constructor and um, in the constructor what we need we need to do service private to do service and also we need um, I think at this moment that's it right okay so this to do service get all the to do's once we get the response we're gonna subscribe to our observable return type right then um, next that means if that is a like success return I mean if that returns 200 right so that means that is a success then we want to do these things what we would like to do we would like to sign that to do's into our local to do's that's it let's save it compile successfully let's go to our UI so far I do not see the list here hmm. let's inspect is there any exception or error or something right the console we see it shows it has been blocked by course right so to enable the course we need to enable that course in our API project so to enable the um, course what I would like to use app dot like use course in the use course we want to add the policy um, allow any uh, origin allow um, maybe any header right allow any method okay let's run it once it is up and running we can go to our api and if we refresh we see that there is a return from the api right so this is our api response see and yeah now i would like to work on the add to do here right okay So to add to work on that to do's I have the UI ready here right so I need to include like um, ng form this is gonna be form ng form right and as soon as we hit the submit button so that will call this method add to do right so that add to do is not available in our component so we have to create that add to do say still error because of ng form right so we need to add that um, forms module in our app dot modules so import 
forms module form from angular forms right and include in the imports which is forms module save it compile successfully okay let's go back to our component hmm let's create the another um, local variable which is new to do right type is to do and we want to assign the default values which is gonna be let's say id is empty right we have a description which is also empty and create a date uh, which is gonna be new date then it's completed say false by default right and completed date is also a new date okay so now we have the new to, to do um we do not need this guy here so what we can do we can assign the ng model which is gonna be our new to do dot description right save compile successfully okay mm, so far so good So what we need to do now, we can create our service. The service is gonna be add to do. We're gonna pass the new to do as type to do, right? And we're gonna use observable to get the to do. So new to do. I want to pass ID like um, an empty GUID, right? How is this going to be this one? You can Google it like type empty GUID, right? Something like this empty GUID. So you will get this uh, GUID in the Google. Okay, then return this like uh, HTTP when um, post this right post will get the response as to do in this base URL and um, slash API slash to do this is something you can find it in the Swagger UI you see this is our post API method slash API slash to do right and then pass the new to do save it compile successfully now we can call this from our add to do uh, method so this like to do service add to do we need to pass this new to do subscribe right and as soon as we get the response if it is success we get back response as to do right so once we get the to do what we want to do we want to reload the page right mm. to experience that let's create a to do here this is our second to do right hit submit and I do not see that is here right? if we refresh I can see that to do has been created but I do not see the description here if I check in the database to do has been created but description is null why is that? 
so I need to inspect the issue let's do one thing uh, let's log in our console this dot new to do I know why it is um, creating the issue but I want to inspect it here so that you can uh, learn it so if we inspect the issue uh, we already see it right it says if ng model is used within a form tag either the name attribute must be set or the form right so um what we want to do is we need to use a name attribute here that's the solution right and i want to show it like real time so as soon as i save it that error has been resolved right so now if i create this is our third to do submit and if i go to database you will see this is our third to do but this is not being updated here so what we can do as soon as we get the success we want to reload this uh, my to do's table right so how can we do that let's go to our um, to do component.ts file this is the um, api call that that gets all the to do's and displayed in our um, my to do's list or table right so what i can do we can um, create another local method here right and then we can reuse that method so i simply refactor the code as soon as we get the response here a success i want to uh, refresh the table okay save it there let's create the one other one this is our fourth to do hit submit and we, we see that that has been added i also want to format this one a little bit um so what i can do is like um created date right so in the created date i would like to add a date filter which is like date and I can pass like format month, day, year, right? Hour, minute, am, pm. Oops. Why is that? Maybe it's a small d. Nope. Unexpected token here, which is this guy. Okay we see that has been formatted right and i want to make this um true false like a checkbox here right instead of true and false so if i add a checkbox here i can check it like if i click on check that means it that means we can mark it completed right so for that what i can do i can add a link and not the link uh, it's gonna be oops input type checkbox right and then um let's see how it looks like okay checkbox is there now i want to um map with our variable so this is gonna be like checked so it's gonna be checked if to do is 
completed. Hmm. Looks like our all to do's are completed, but that is not the case, right? It's supposed to be false. So what is happening like this? To do dot is completed, right? What about if I use the error? It's still same. That means something wrong here. Who is? I want to investigate a little bit. Um, for that, oh, I I just got it. I have to use the the bracket here. Okay. Hmm. So how can I test it? If I mark it true, yeah. Because not false means true. Okay, sounds good. So if if we click on this um, checkbox, right? That means change event. If there's a change event, I want to call a, a method. Let's uh, let's give it a name on completed change, right? And there I want to pass like to do with ID and to do itself right so i need to create that um method in the component so here id is gonna be string and let's give it a name new to do no i mean to do it's gonna be to do type right okay so what we want to do if we click on this checkbox right we want to call a service to update the to-do in the backend and also reload this to-do in the UI right so at this moment we do not have the API right so we need to create that API like update to-do or like updates completed let's go to to-do controller Hmm, this is gonna be HTTP post or put right and we wanna give a name like async task i action result let's say update to do and from route we'll get like um guid id and to do which is gonna be to do update request okay so what do we want we also want to pass the route here id is a GUID type okay so bar to do await from to do's right find a sync by id if to do equal equal null right then return um not found or what we want to do is like um, we want to update like is completed equal to do update request dot is completed okay and then we simply hit the uh, save changes and return the to-do I think that's it okay let's run it first of all I would like to find the to-do we have I want to update this one as completed right 
then go to our method this is our um, API I mean ID um, what was that we simply want to update uh, seven app this guy right we simply want to update that is completed equal true right what else why this description is empty oh I chose the wrong one uh, I mean let's choose this one and ID is gonna be this one so change it over there I want to mark this as true right and we also need to update the completed date right that means we have to update in the in here to do the completed date equal date time dot now right so this is the time we are completing that to do yeah okay so we need to reload that let's take this one and and the id is this one and to complete it true and the completed date is like right now it is um let's say it was created on 619 let's say it's like 45 okay hit execute so it was succeeded right and we see that is completed is true also date it has been updated on the completed date now if we see in the UI hit the refresh and we see this is completed right so this is what I want to do from UI right so for that let's go to our um, angular project and in angular project we can call the to do service right so in the to-do service we do not have that api method yet so we need to create that one update to do id string right to do to do observable to do okay so return like um this http this was uh, that was a post i mean put method so we'll get back as to do from this base api url oops and what else Uh, plus if we see that after api slash to do slash we have the id right so that means we have to append that id here then we have to pass the to do as in the body hit save now go back to our component call the update to do and pass the to do right also need to pass the id subscribe next um if we get back the response right if we get back the response I would like to 
refresh the UI which is gonna be this guy perfect let's see if I click on this nope but this doesn't work now um, I want to debug it in the UI right so let's add the debugger here and also open the inspect tool here right and if I hit on the checkbox now we got a hit in our and if I see tool I mean to do is completed still false so that means what we need to do is like we need to uh, reverse that is completed to do is to do the negate the uh, is completed uh, boolean variable right so this is what we needed save it and if we hit this guy right so it got refreshed oh, no <laughs> still there is an error let's see what is the error here the console so it says invalid maybe invalid api let's check our api method so base api oh we forgot to include that api slash to do slash then plus id right so this will resolve our issue i hope so let's restart again control c and this are dash o so hit and refresh yeah and if we want to see the yes completed both of them right so that means that is working okay now I want to add a delete button here so to add the delete button we need to add th here and also oops td hmm we can use a tag right that's a delete okay so now we have to use like router link which is gonna be empty right so this is our delete and if we click on the delete link we want to delete the to do right so what we can do we can simply pass the id so delete to do let's go to our controller create that delete to do get the id as a parameter okay so now we need a delete api right okay so to create the delete api I need HTTP delete also we want to pass the route um, with um, GUID right public async task action result delete to do mm, and from route we will get 
the GUID ID. So var to do right await um find id if to do equal null return not found right or to do dot deleted so we do not have that um property yet right so to create that property first i want to comment out this one and go back to our to do um model now let's add a couple of property boolean is completed right and other one is like date time completed date right oh it says it's completed actually it's gonna be not completed deleted and this is gonna be deleted date right okay and now I need to use another command um let's say add migration and give name like added delete um, fields then use the update database done we can take a look in our table let's refresh the columns and we can see that we have now deleted date and is deleted is there right so um we actually need like um deleted date is gonna be uh what is called um nullable right so let's upgrade again at migration updated deleted date to null level okay update database done let's see yeah it's null Hmm. Okay, now let's go back to our controller, right? Undo this code, and now we can assign is deleted equal true, and to do the deleted date is gonna be now, right? Then we can use the save um, changes return to do. That's it. So this is our delete. I want to get a ID. Let's I want to make this one as deleted. So what we can do get the ID come back here press ID and if you see is deleted is true and deleted date is also the current date time okay now we can also check in our database that this one is deleted right now we need to check in our angular ui so for that let's run again and this serve okay this is deleted right 
but it is still showing up in the UI so because in our um, get all to do's we we are taking all the um, to do's right so here we need to filter so what we can do like um, from to do's we can use where x dot is deleted right um like we want to get is deleted is false because we want to display only the active to do's then also we want to use order by descending right x success x dot create date then to list oops right so we'll get only to do's who is are active so is deleted equal false now let's run also we need to serve again oops sorry i didn't realize that this was out of our screen okay so now if you see we have only these three because the other one we mark that as a deleted right so let's delete this one also hit the delete no response because we did not do anything here right did we create the service yes so we cre we have created the service looks good now we need to add the um, the to do I mean delete to do so this dot uh, to do service right is gonna be delete to do what is that oh it was update to do not the delete to do so update to do and delete to do is pretty much similar so what we can do delete to do string right and it will return observable to do return this http then delete get back to do this base api url plus api um to do right plus id so this is our delete to do right so what we can do we can come back here and we can pass the id and then subscribe So if this is a um, success response, I would like to um, call this get all to do's method, meaning this dot get all to do's, so that we can refresh the UI. Okay, let's delete our third to do. Hit delete, deleted our third to do, and we can check in our database. The third to do this is also marked deleted okay we can also add another to do this is our fifth to do right okay looks great um, I also want to add like a strike through here in the uh, description text so that as soon as we mark that is completed then we can uh, show like that is a strike through right so to use that a strike through we can um, take help like like we can use CSS 
that is an option for us so let's go to our angular component right um, this is the description so in the description I want to use a class a stroke okay and that is gonna be a tip if to do is mark completed okay and then I need to add the CSS for that so this is the CSS to do's dot component dot CSS for this HTML come over here a stroke that class name so our class name is a stroke and when that is active we want to use text decoration like line throw okay yeah so this is our line uh, throw here if I click on this one completed that is completed if we refresh still that is there perfect so now what else we have deleted couple of the uh, to do's right now how can we see all these to do's right so we can have another menu here that um, if we click on the menu you can see the list of to do's there right so for that we need to create the um, component which is gonna be like so let's give it a name let's go back to our um, CD component right ng generate serve let's give it a name deleted to do component now we have a deleted oops my bad uh, I supposed to execute like let's delete this okay ng g c4 component deleted to do okay now we have the deleted to do here right now we also need to add that in our app component so to do's maybe this is gonna be my to do's right and i'm gonna create another link let's give it a name let um deleted to do's router link gonna be deleted to do's I think that's pretty much it save it and if we we need to rerun again and just serve and if we hit over here so this is our deleted to do's right so I, we need to create that um um, routing so come over here create the path this is gonna be deleted to do's and component name is deleted to do's to the component right now if we go back there hit there and see the URL deleted to do's and that is like empty so we are gonna work on that one okay so what we want to do here we want to have a deep container then a tag maybe s3 like my deleted to do's right maybe all are lower case is fine and then um, I can get this deep 
here it is gonna be almost pretty much similar right so description created date I need another one for deleted date right then completed is fine and in here created date another one is like deleted date right and I do not need any more checkbox here right so what we can do we can use plane is completed true or false is fine but if you want you can also uh, customize that um, so for this to do I'm gonna use like another link um, so that we can um, undo that uh, that to do right so we also need router link router link is gonna be empty okay we need to have the to do's so to get the to do's uh, to do's to do which is empty control dot okay then constructor pass private uh, to do service in it like um, what else I think that's it we need it so in the page load so we need to implement like on init and g on init so here I want to call to do service like un um, maybe get all deleted to do's right get all deleted to do's so we need to call that one as soon as we get that subscribe that one and the next response we want to do like we can refresh the page or we can assign it back to our to do's As of now, we do not have that method, so we can create that service. Right, um, get all deleted to do's. So that will return observable to do list. This return, oops return this or http it's gonna be get right mm, to do list from this base api url api slash to do slash so at this moment we do not have that um that method in our api site right so what we can do we need to create that api in our api site So we can create another get method here, similar to that um, public async task action result get deleted to do's right and since we have another get a method we need to specify the route here i want to give the route name as like get deleted to do's like this so here 
bar to do's equal await um to do's where it's gonna be opposite of the the previous method is deleted is gonna be true right then we can also order by descending by create date then to list async finally return to do's okay this is the uh, to do method we can also see in our api swagger ui okay uh, get this one get deleted to do's if we execute we see we have two deleted to do's in our database and if we refresh the database we see we have two deleted to do's right so it looks great so now what i need i need this route in our angular project okay hmm okay i have now some error property to do does not exist on type this component so if we see our model um we do not have that deleted column here right is deleted boolean and deleted date it's gonna be date okay now we have to fix other properties here is deleted let's say false deleted date new date okay succeeded so if we now and this up again and if we go to our my deleted to do's we see we have the two to do's here and if we now we are gonna undo these to do's right so we need to work on this method um, so in the UI what we need to do we need to add a click event here if we click on this um, undo um, link we're gonna say undo delete to do and we can pass to do id and to do itself right so what we need we have to go back to our component the method id string to do to do so oops there is a typo issue it's gonna be id okay so what we want to do here in the undo to do we're gonna call to do service like undo delete to do right then we're going to pass id and to do then once we get back response and if that is like success then we want to refresh the page which is this is the method is refreshing right so we can refactor this method and oops like create another local variable 
local method here get like uh, all deleted to do's put it here right then we can call that method from there so that we can reuse that same method here okay so we do not have this uh, service yet we have to create the service we're gonna take id string to do studio type observable return this um, http um is it can be put method i would say right so at this moment we do not have that api method ready which i'm gonna create right now api let's say to do slash let's say un undo deleted to do slash the id right and i can pass that to do so i want to copy this and i want to go to our uh, api project so let's create a http pause a put and route it's gonna be this one slash id um, which is guid public async task i action result Oops. Uh, undo deleted to do right from um, route yes yeah from route do it id then to do is like undo delete to do request okay hmm but to do when i get oops i wait to do find a sync id to do if to do is null then return not found otherwise to do deleted date equal null it is a nullable uh, field and to do is deleted equal false right and then await save changes return the ok with the to do that's it so if we reload the api oops okay undo deleted to do so what i want to get i want to get the id from here let's say this is the id right that um third to do i want to bring it back to our active to do's id hit um in the request body it doesn't matter see now it's completed is i mean is deleted is false now if we see this is gonna be zero now execute zero and if we see in the ui if we refresh the third to do is gone back to our regular um my to do's list right although it was like completed i marked is uncompleted okay so we can undo oh then we have to invoke that method in our API here. 
so let's go back to our deleted to do okay we did it maybe it was not running undo what is the error let's see hit undo mm -hmm. maybe refresh okay did we save it maybe i did not save let's see hit undo yeah it's gone and delete this one this one this one all these if you come back here all of them are here see true and false you can see it was completed right okay hmm yeah this is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this um project or you can enhance this project like you can use more you can add more feature on top of this um, sample project right if you like this tutorial please subscribe this channel also hit the like button and if possible please share with your peers or friends or colleagues thank you so much